Hey everyone, welcome back. We're testing every single mask in the world. Today we're looking at masks at Home Depot. That's right, Home Depot has masks. You can buy them if you want it. And I found the Safety Pro masks. Let's put them in the machine and see what happens. Here we go. Clamped it. Testing it. Let's go. This is a particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this bad boy works, check out the video. All right, I couldn't find this on Home Depot's website. A lot of times their website's really good. Um, I don't think they offer these anymore and that's why, but I did buy them at Home Depot and I have the receipts, okay? So I can prove it, uh, but I don't have a website to show you. So I'm just gonna show you the box instead. All right, let's take a look at this. Kind of an okay design. I like the other Home Depot masks that we found better. You know, no soft touch box. Um, it says non-medical. They're not really making any claims on this particular guy. Um, oopsie, let's open it up. Packed in plastic, that's nice. It's got the, any Chinese mask has the uh, quality certificate. This one is a hundred percent in Chinese, a hundred percent. So I can't read it. I don't know what it means. Um, let's open this up. These are hand packed, but really nicely. Did a great job on, on this. Oh, okay. It's not fully sealed. I don't love that. Um, let's take a couple of these bad boys out. This is a basic blue mask. I think these were available late last year. Um, so yeah, these are very poorly put together. Look at the, the nose wire is not um, centered in many of these, but again, these were pandemic masks. They were just trying to get things out. And then look at the four points here. They're not even. So that's a good sign that a manufacturer is like not paying good attention. The ear loops are really thin. I think it's not gonna hold. Oh, I stand corrected. That is really strong. You could, uh, you could hold up a reindeer with this. Well, maybe a newborn reindeer. But yeah, it's it's, it's really strong. Um, but it's too big. I can feel like it's not gonna, you know, go well on my face. And usually, like, there's correlation between construction, box design, like how much effort they're putting into it. Uh, to what it shows on the PFE machine. This fits really nicely, actually. This is, this is a shocker. That, that I don't like the nose wire. I'm gonna knock off like five points for that. And I'm doing a smell and honestly, like, I'm gonna call this one a brand new credit card because it's straight bank cash. Yeah, it's like a slight plastic smell, but like barely, I, I almost, I'm gonna call that a pleasant smell. Perfect score. All right. But does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Remember, these are made at the height of the pandemic. You could tell by the way that they were putting these together that maybe there wasn't a lot of care in like how they actually looked. They were just trying to get masks out there. They were at Home Depot, people picking them up, you know, when they're you know, gonna go do their home chores or something like that. Does it protect you? Hell yes, it does. Wow, this is an impressive mask. Shocker of the day, 98.2. 98.214. Great job at Safety Pro. Guys, I looked this thing up uh, left and right on the internet. I found like some weird random website that was selling one, but what a great mask. Who, who would have thought? Um, and the breathability is pretty good too, by the way. Uh, 85.24. So great breathability, great uh, uh, protection. This could be an ASTM level three mask if they wanted to. Um, all right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we've got more masks we pull from Home Depot and Lowe's and other places, so stick with us if you like watching mask tests. And based on my data, there are at least 48 of you out there. Thank you. Catch you on the next test.